accurate uh, and, uh, and the organisation and the resilience that they have you see you know they haven't lost a game since the turn of the year so uh, so that tells you everything about the mentality and uh, I thought first half we had some good moments um, our problem we just didn't close the game when we had the ball so they were able to break out a few times uh, three or four times in the game in counter attack and they've got players that can can hurt you in counter attack uh, but then I thought the second half once we had adjusted and, and, and sort of made the, the pitch a lot more compact when we had the ball we had a lot more numbers around the ball and then we uh, we, we were able to play that bit quicker and our tempo was, was good and intensity was good and uh, and I just felt like it was coming but you always have to work hard against teams that are well organised so uh, so yeah we um, we threw everything at the game and ended up uh, getting the goal which was a, a great header by Ricky mm. Yeah I thought it was important for us to get back to our game tonight. Um, every team has a blip and every team has a, a a little wobble at some point in the season where the results go a little bit. But um, but these players have been absolutely incredible over the course of the season and, and since I've been here. So uh, and 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 their honesty will 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 uh, we'll get them back to the level. But I thought tonight, especially in the second half, that was much more like us. You know, the, the speed of the game, the intensity. The crowd were great because in games, I guess you have to be patient. You know, you have to work the ball and, and the crowd recognised that. You know, this was a, a Birmingham team that was tough to break down. But they stayed with us, kept the patience, we kept going forward and then eventually we get the get the goal. So, uh, yeah, delighted for the guys. A clean sheet as well, which was important. You know, showed that robustness as a team as well and, uh, yeah, get to the quarterfinals. Yeah, no, he, he's a huge player, and in our squad, we don't have the depth to carry that and miss that level of player. You know, and a few players that are out. You know, a lot of the guys that come in, they contribute so well. But when you have one of your best ball winners in, in the Premier League out for a period of time, of course you you miss him. So the plan was to give him an hour, uh, get some game time into his legs, and uh, yeah, it was great to see him out there. Yeah, no, I've got a, a brilliant player. Like you say, he's he's so low maintenance. You know, every day he comes in, he trains. The intensity he plays the game, that's how he trains. Um, always wanting to get better, wanting to learn. Defending's got better. And then going forward, he's such a threat. You know, whether he's crossing, he's looking to combine. And or like you say, he showed his power and, and his jump. It was, it was a great header, you know. He's jumping against the centre half from a standing jump. Great ball by Mark. To, to keep it in play and like you say it was a it was a, a great great header to, to win the game so uh, now he's he's up there with the, the really top right backs at this level and uh, now he's he's consistently been first class Were you surprised to see him sorry third against fourth you've already played each other a couple of times draws pretty evenly matched you think it'll be a good game it'll be a good game but we're just delighted to be to be in the quarter final I think that's what we want it and, and like I said, whoever we got, it was going to be a tough game. So Chelsea had a great result last night, really good performance. So that puts them in there. And and like I say, we'll we'll relish the game. It's at home. It should be a fantastic game, and, and we'll be fighting to get to Wembley. Hey, just wanted to say, were you surprised yeah. to see Ricardo appearing at centre forward eight minutes ago? Not not really, <laughs> not really. I think you can see we were pushing and trying to get numbers in there. Um, he's obviously gone in the box to to look to score but when the ball comes out firstly he swapped positions with uh, with Mark Albright you know Mark Mark's in the sort of right back position on the side making the cross and uh, he crossed it into to Ricky who, uh, who scored a great header so um, no the, the players have that you know we, we have a structure to our team but it's it's to attack and, and look to score goals and but we had to be patient but we, we got there in the end Yeah, no, I, hopefully we, we've shown that. I know it was something when I came in, the supporters were very were very keen to have some runs in, in the cup competitions and 
we, we tried our best in the semi-final, just didn't quite make it of the last cup, and now we aim to go as far as we can in this one. So, um, yeah, we uh, we want to to win as much as we can. Yeah, I, I felt we needed Mark's honesty in the team. You know, the one thing he brings is a real intensity to the game, and that's something that I felt in the last numbers of weeks has been missing from our game. You know, that intensity and tempo, and he brings that. Um, and just, just the the goal in the last five minutes of the game probably sums sums up why. You know, you at this stage of the season when you're fighting, you need a player that's going to get up there and, and make the cross and 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 look to be a threat. But he makes the block at the end on Montero to stop the cross coming in. And that's something that in in a few weeks we, we've come away from. Um, and that's our game. And he's come in tonight and I thought he'd done very, very well. Uh, Damari coming in hasn't started. I've been around it a great deal of late, but but I know he's a threat. And, uh, and I thought he'd come in and he linked up well at times, just ran out of legs a little bit. And then we, we bring Harvey into the game. So, uh, so now both those boys um, done very well. And, and in particular, I thought Mark was very good. I think it, uh, it will do between now and the, the end of the season. I think that his representatives will speak with the club. And I think until that point, between now and the end of the season, it's just concentrate on his football and... and Let's help us finish as high as we possibly can and go as far as we can in the cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was a case of trying to get a rhythm back. We, uh, as I said, we, we, we've slipped up in a few games recently, uh, and more just a performance. So it was really important to get a performance back. And like I say, to get that tempo back in our game and, um, and and give the guys that confidence of getting a getting a win. We knew it was always going to be tough, and the mistakes sometimes you can make when you get to this stage of the season is make too many changes, and then you're actually bringing in guys that are not not playing a great deal, maybe, and then they're up against a team like tonight that are playing, you know, they've probably played about. 38 or 39 games or something already probably Birmingham so it's unfair if you bring them in and expose them to that so the idea was to keep the nucleus of the team um, and then bring in and make a few more changes but uh, but and then hopefully that'll get us through uh, yeah well, we play Monday so he'll train on on Friday and uh, he'll be back available for Monday okay thanks folks Okay. Cheers. Thank you.